Right, another round against Fish and Blood. And we have a, uh, okay, starting again. Cash out, cash out. We can burn the snag. So it should go right. At least we can set up our board state straight away, which is one thing crossed off. Not that we need any of these cards really in a matchup. I guess the Talishev might be okay-ish to keep. We're probably just, yeah, snag as soon as they play something and then cash out as soon as we can. Well, I guess it depends on what else we draw. Snatch. Okay. Hmm. No go again. So we just let it slide. I can burn this round on me, actually. Which I probably won't do. Do I want to burn the other cash out? I don't want to burn the other cash out. Burn the other cash out. And we'll just burn snag. Yeah. Done. All right, and that way we can draw back. Hopefully get something else decent. So taking all the instants is why I like it. That was the wrong way to say that. Going first or second is why I take all the instants, which, which is why I like it. <laughs> all right, we can play an amulet. We can cash out. Get rid of the crown. At this point, I'm probably going to get rid of the tunic because I'm thinking I'll go for it next turn. So get rid of the tunic. Get rid of gambler's gloves, weapon, and the amulet. Yeah. And then we just stash the, the tome. That's good enough for us. We've got blue to pitch into it. We should be in a pretty good position. Yeah, we got some opts. Probably just let slide whatever they can throw at us, right? I don't think they can do 20 in a turn unless they have the, the combo on themselves, thanks to the arsenal slot. That is not a good sign. But do they tome an arsenal as well? Again, yeah, backwards. Do they arsenal a tome as well? Yeah, they did. That's fine. 25. Hmm. And then cash in. They have to burn resources. A little. They're going for attacks. That's fine. If they knew our hand. They probably should have gone for all the, all the draws. We'll take the other three. So we pitch the eye, opt to, and then draw. Yeah. A little. Take the damage. The twenty-five is actually a bit worrisome. I don't know if we can burn them down all the way. We're going to be taking a big chunk of damage here. They're two belittles, so they got two minerisms, right? Do they reveal off both? I'm not paying attention. So now they're cashing in. Ah, cool, and they got the minerism to pitch. That's actually another really good interaction. The fact that you can turn a yellow into a blue and also attack. A little does cost, though. So you get the resources back, basically. Yeah, because it's just reveal. Three or less base power from hand. Uh, I think we're out of the running for that with the heavy hitters options. Okay, mischievous meeps is annoying. But at the same time, I, I know the trigger doesn't work. And even if they take the gold, we still have the five silver. So we're just taking the two. Right. Does it? Yeah. They draw. I think they just draw. Art of War. If they have a final act, we're done, actually. At this point. I think they have a final act. Ah, that's frustrating. We're, <laughs> we're so short. <laughs> Don't have a final act, please. Just be looking for it, please. They have a final act. Uh, that's no good. So yeah, so again, playing aggressively like this means you only have to go for one final act to seal the deal. It's doing nine. Now it's doing 12. Plus I have to pitch into it, so it's doing 13. Hmm. Doing 14, I miscounted. So, how do we get away with this? Bernal's Fighting Spirit. 
is a three, but that's not good enough. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna ditch two cards. That's the issue here. But I have to ditch two cards. We'll, we'll still try to pull it off. We just survive. Yeah. We're going really bad into a turn. Especially because now I don't have the attack for Art of War, per se. Alright, let's see if we can bounce back and do 25, which is also the worry. So, Mage Master, pitch the eye. Please show me some good cards. Hmm. It's too early for the final act. We'll send Rifting to the bottom because I need the other draw engines to bounce back. Yeah, but we need to keep the final act. Keep the final act. Dome. I, I can't play Whispers, I'm too short on cards then. Burn the gold so I can float the resources. No, no, no. If I get cash in, I want the gold. Play silver. Peace of mind. And to lead the charge, there's an issue. Oh, actually, it's also a way for us to double. That's an issue, though. So I probably have to burn the gold here. And we're just hoping for the other final act. Is there a way for me to get back to enough resources, though? There's not, which is an issue. I have to burn the gold. I have to burn, pick a card. There's the Art of War. I can banish Final Act. I have to do 25, so I have to, I have to, I have to do Risky Plays. Yeah, so I have to ban- I have to- I don't like it, but I have to. Draw, go again. Get rid of Final Act and hope we draw back. Here's the cash in. Pay the two silver. It's not going to do it. This is the only option because we need to get a high enough stack. So we're doing Fighting Spirit into Oasis. Will I have enough resources? Let's us to four and this costs three, so no, I won't. In which case, I probably won't keep the Oasis. It's unfortunate. I should have, I should have played Pursuit of Knowledge instead for the intellect. But we weren't going to we weren't going to put a dent in him unless we had both final acts. So I had to play risky. So do I burn? No, it doesn't really matter. Stick in the arsenal and actually get benefit from it. Uh, whew, what do we want back? Guess the eye to pitch. Just all the blues. Yeah. Not our luck this time around. Oh, look at that. There's the other final act. And the encore. So close. This round's on me. Are they just doing a setup turn, I wonder? We can snag, which is good. How do I recover? Play cash in off of Whispers and Snag. Sensor for five, no go again. And then they can name a card and they can't play it. That is bad for us. We can prevent two and then block three. Right, that's probably the go. And then we stash the cash in. So prevent with Sensor, prevent Sensor with Oasis Respite. Chug out the Snag and then block with Whispers. Wait, if I'm doing all that, that means I'm not playing Final Act. So I, I could have just taken the damage. That would have been the better thing to do. Okay, we're not playing anything. Stick the cash in. Two blues. It's not two blues, but an Art of War. So we're Art of War off of the Encore. Get rid of Pursuit of Knowledge. We stay. We don't even go neutral with that, though. 
But we hope for two blues to then go into cash in. Tunic is not a good sign. Although they could just be using it because it's up. Eight. I don't think eight is recoverable, unfortunately. Maybe going first does actually have a big enough impact. They have fire breathing. Take the one. What else they got? Fire breathing. How many resources do they need? They need... It's a three, so they need four. Which is bad. Hmm. I'm just going to let it slide at this point. Because we're too far gone. If they have four, we're done. One, two, three. Yeah, they've got four. You can get fly breathing pretty high. And again, it stacks up the pitch for final act. That's something I got to look into a little bit more. I guess whatever's in their arsenal is an instant. That's why it's going back and forth. Oh, no, wait, because they can proc more. They get the option to reuse fire breathing each time. So we've had to block two, which is still no good. All right. It's, it's two apiece now, I think. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. See ya.